all beautiful cakes start from the inside out. So before we can get to all the fun and decorating, let's learn how to fill and frost a cake. So my cake layers have been baked and completely cooled. I've chilled them in the refrigerator. You can chill them from anywhere between about 15 minutes to overnight. So the first thing you're gonna check for is to see if your cake layers have baked up nice and flat. These cake layers are flat, but if for some reason your cake recipe domed at the top, you'll wanna take a serrated knife and cut that portion off so each layer is nice and even and flat. So for nice even layers, I'm going to pipe in my buttercream. I'm gonna fill my piping bag with my buttercream. And this piping bag just has a plain round tip inserted into the bottom of the bag. So for nice even layers from when the cake is sliced, you wanna have the same amount of buttercream between each layer of cake. And the easiest way to do that is to pipe in your buttercream. So I'm going to pipe a ring around the top edge of the cake. At this point, you'll use whatever frosting is going to be on the outside of your cake. So if you are gonna frost the cake in fudge, then this would be fudge frosting here. If you're gonna do buttercream, it would be buttercream. And what essentially this does is create a dam for whatever filling you're going to use. So if you had a softer filling like raspberry jam or pastry cream that might slip out between the layers of cake, this icing dam will help hold in the, those different types of fillings. Today we're just gonna do buttercream, but like I said, piping this ring to start will make sure that each layer is nice and even. So now that I've piped my ring of buttercream, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in and smooth it all out. So I'm gonna use my large offset spatula and just hold it to the top of the cake and go ahead and give that rotating turntable a spin to make sure it flattens out. So each time you add a new layer of cake, just make sure everything is stacking up nice and level. And you can kind of smush it or move it around a little bit as you go to make things nice and straight. So again, we're gonna pipe another even ring around the top edge of this cake. From there, we'll fill in the middle with buttercream as well. And if you need to add a little bit extra, that's fine. Using your offset spatula, begin to smooth out the filling. And try to keep your spatula as flat as possible and then spin the cake and then it'll push the buttercream around to create a nice flat surface. So now we're ready for our last layer of cake. So even though our cake layer is baked up nice and flat, the top layer I like to flip upside down to make sure that the top of the cake is super flat and the bottom of the cake is usually flatter than the top. So we have a really nice flat surface to work with here. So we're going to start by crumb coating our cake. And essentially what that is, is a first layer of frosting that's thin and going to trap in all of the crumbs to keep them from getting into our final layer of cake. I start with a large dollop of frosting on the top of my cake that I smooth out and then work my way down the sides. So this layer doesn't have to be perfect, but it still should be pretty smooth and even on all sides. I like to work with just a little bit of frosting at a time because I feel like I have more control that way and it makes the whole experience less messy. So I have a thin layer of frosting on all the sides of my cake. I'm gonna go back and smooth it out just a little bit. But like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect at this point. We're just looking for a smooth, even layer. So now that our cake has a nice crumb coat, I'm gonna chill it in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. 